So today we're going to go over the fastest way to install Docker containers. And a special thank you to all my patrons who without your support this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about supporting the channel you love. Thank you. So welcome, I'm Technodad Life and I make technology simplified. And so today we're gonna simplify how we install Dockers to make it as fast as possible. So what we're gonna be looking at today is the self-hosted templates, which we're going to add to Portainer that then take the most commonly downloaded Dockers and make simple templates that we, if we fill them out, it only takes a few minutes to get a container up and running. The first thing we want to do is go to Portainer, go down to Settings, where it says App Templates. We want to check this box. So now we can add a URL to add templates to our Portainer. And before we do that, if we go up to the App Template section, so we can see there are a lot of different templates here for uh, professional use, but not much here for home users who have home servers. So we go back to settings, click on the external templates, and we're going to go to this site. So it's on GitHub, self-hosted, and I will leave a link to this in the description. We're going to scroll down, and so right here where it says add the URL, we're going to copy this and then we're going to paste in that line, paste that into Portainer, and then make sure you hit the Save Settings button down at the bottom. Now if we go back to Add Templates, we can see there are a whole bunch of more templates here. So it, this does not automatically get everything set up for you, so this is where people have had problems so far. And so we'll show you how to set up a container uh, once the image is installed. So let's pick one here and we'll go to the search box. We'll type in radar, that's a popular one. And up comes the radar image. So it looks like we can just hit deploy and everything will work, but we still need to change some things. So click on advanced options. On this container, we want to change our host port. So we're going to put in 7878. These paths here for going to our local disks are not the same as ours. And so what will happen if you don't change these paths, uh, this information, you can't access it easily because the path that is in here is more than likely not the same path as your disk. So we need to change these paths, okay? So to find our path, we go back to Open Media Vault, click on Shared Folders. And if you haven't already, go to Down Arrow, Columns, Absolute Path, and that will show up. And so here you can see the absolute path is serve slash dev dash gist. And so what we can do is click on that, inspect, double click on that, copy, then go back to Portainer. So now we have a path that works for us. This is our disk right here. And our folder right there is called app data. And so the config file will go in the radar folder there. And now we're going to do the same thing here. So instead of app data, this is going to go into, oh, actually into downloads. Small d for us. And same thing again, this is going to go into our media folder, into our movie, movies folder. And then once we're done there, so basically we just changed four things. We can hit deploy container. Then it's time for a cup of coffee while this deploys. Once that's done, we can see there's radar. To go to it, we need to go to port 7878. So click on this. Paste that into a new window and then colon 7878 and then hit enter. And then we're into radar. And what you'll notice is if you look over here under system, 
uh, we still need to set it up as normal. So the self-hosted templates are a quick and easy way to help you install the most used Docker containers. Uh, you still have a little work to do. It's simply not just one click and it works. You still have to put in your absolute path and make sure your ports are right. And you still have to configure the application after that, but it takes out a lot of the guesswork. So I like it. If you like this video, make sure you like, and if you haven't already, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.